Hello everyone. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will demonstrate uh, how to perform vulnerability scanning using Nmap. Uh, penetration testing, penetration testing plus objective number two, information gathering and identify vulnerabilities. Uh, vulnerabilities. All right. Nmap is used to discover hosts and services on a computer network by sending packets and analyzing the responses. It provides a number of features, a number of features for probing computer networks, including host discovery and services, as well as operating system detection. Okay. Without further ado, let's start. Uh, do some. Uh, lab exercise okay using this thing uh, all right as you can see that I have uh, meta exploitable too let me check the IP address this is gonna be my victim machine 192.168.56.103 and then here is gonna be my uh, attacker machine or uh, IF config. This is going to be uh, my Kali will be the attacker machine, and my meta exploitable is on the left hand side, will be the victim machine. The IP address of my Kali Linux is 56.114, and my victim is 56.103. All right, so let me start by verifying the nmap version right so i'm going to use, use nmap version to check i'm using 7.92 some of the command of nmap not working with the current version okay so therefore we need to double check what version it is because some command uh, may be disappear already or they are not compatible anymore all right so that's why we run this all right, so let's do some enumeration. I'm going to do nmap minus a minus a minus s minus v. So this is the version minus a hyphen a is a good uh, parameter because it allows you to detect the operating system the services and also as well as the version okay the version of that so i'm gonna run this uh, let me see it may take a while so please be patient All right, here we go. I have an operating system, Unix. Computer name is Metasploitable. Okay, uh, what else we find out? We have a lot of port that are open and vulnerable. Uh, port 21, which is FTP, the version is 2.3.4, all right. Also, let's scroll it down. Uh, what else we can find out using this enumeration? Look at this. FTP anon, anonymous FTP login are allowed. So we can exploit this. Once we find out what services that are open and what version do they use, now we can uh, exploit that vulnerabilities. Okay. Port 22. Port 22 is, let me see, is SSH. We are using... Uh, because this is a vulnerable machine so as you can see there are a lot of vulnerabilities so this is the where is it open ssh 4.7 right debian ubuntu okay as you can see that if i scroll it down you see all the vulnerabilities okay that are open that are vulnerables okay you can also save this one right we can save the result in the text file Okay, let's run again. I'm going to run this command. It's called ls-al-users-share. 
and map slash script. Okay, this is to find out the location of the script. I'm going to do enter. All right, so these are all the script that are available. Notice that this is, since I'm using the latest end map, we have all the script, script already included with it. Okay. All right, so these are all the script. So now, let's run another one. Uh, since we know the vulnerabilities of FTP, uh, FTP, so we try to run this command. Okay, we try to exploit this. I will provide the documentation in the blackboard. So let's run this one. Uh, nmap nmap minor hyphen v hyphen v port 21. Okay. Uh, hyper 21. And then let me see. Uh, hyphen 21 script. Here FTP FTP underscore anonymous. See if we are allowed to log in anonymously. All right, here we can see that port 21 is open, right? Uh, port 21 is open and allow anonymous. So we are going to explode this. SH is 22, Telnet 23. And we have SMTP and so on. All right. So now we're going to explode it by FTP. We're going to run FTP and then put the IP address of the victim machine. I press enter here. We allow them and type anonymous or we just leave it blank. Anonymous. Enter. And then enter. Now we are entering. 230 login successfully. Now we are actually logging to the victim machine, right? We are, we, we already log into the victim machine. Uh, let me see. So LS, and then I'm gonna go exit to get out. All right, so that is a proof of concept, all right? So the other thing that we're gonna do, so let's run this one. I'm going to run nmap, nmap, uh no no i'm going to run this one and map uh minus s v okay the version no minus hyphen s v okay and then we're gonna script we're gonna running a script called fuller right we're gonna find all the vulnerabilities here Vulners to identify the vulnerabilities and then uh, nmap hyphen sv version and we're gonna run the vulnerability script and then we're gonna save the result in the text file okay we're gonna name it result.txt right result1 let's put that result1.txt all right press enter boom this may take some time so uh, I may uh, pause the video a little bit and show you uh, maybe in a few minutes. Okay, so let me see. Uh, pause it here. Uh, apparently, the the scanning is so fast here. All right, so let me show it to you. After I run this uh, script, and map script, we find some vulnerability here. Uh, Port 22 SSH, we have the number here, 1 through 10. 7, 5 is the most severe. I, I think 9 or 10 is the most severe, okay? And we can click this to find out more information about this thing and how to fix that, all right? So I'm going to open this, all right? And here is the information about the vulnerabilities. Uh, not, not this one. Uh, here we go. CVE, Common Vulnerabilities, uh, 2010, 447, right? So here is the issue. It's a medium score, right? 7.5 is a high score. Open SSS 5.6 and earlier. When JPEG is enabled, does not properly validate 
the public parameters, which allow remote attacker to bypass the need for knowledge of the shear secret and successfully authenticate by sending crafted value in each round of protocol, right? So here they give you the issue, the description about the common vulnerabilities and all the reference, how to fix all of those things, all right? Uh, so these are the database. Let me see what else. Mm, okay. Uh, so let me let me minimize this. Also, we have another one here. If I scroll it down, this is a DNS port 53, right? This is a DNS. Uh, we have uh, 8.5, which is high vulnerabilities. Let's let's try this one. I'm gonna do this one. Right click and open the link. Okay, so this is a DNS issue. Oh, this is in Chinese, right? Uh, this is in Chinese. So let's find in English. Minimize this one, okay. So CVE, okay. Let's find this one, okay. This is a little bit easier to understand. Just right click, open a link. Here is in English, so we can understand what it means. Okay, CVE common vulnerabilities, 2012. It was founded. It was. Found it in 2012 and that's 1667. Okay, uh, 8.5, which is high high vulnerability. So this is basically ISC bind 9.x before 9.7.6 uh, does not properly handle resource record with a zero length remote data section, which allow remote DNS server to cause denial of service or obtain sensitive information from process crafted record. So the so to fix that we need to upgrade that to the latest one. Alright, to the latest one. So uh, the bottom line is once we run this uh, script, this is similar since this is an open source uh, vulnerability testing, it will not give you a lot of details like the commercial one. However, we can use this one to start with, like a like a baseline. You know, this is like a baseline of what are the victim machine are vulnerable of. All right. Again, this is the name of the vulnerabilities, right? The code, the severity, and the link to find out more information. All right. So Nmap is a very powerful tool. So if you have a chance, please. If you have the time, please uh, browse around and do some more uh, research about it. Let me see. I'm going to do ls minus la, right? As you can see that I have my result here. You see this result? My uh, the result of vulnerability. So uh, so I can do vi result text one here. So I can export and import this one. All right. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, this is some vulnerability testing that student may need to do. Uh, please do some exercise in this. Let me see if I can uh, meet. Okay. Uh, give you some documentation, please. Uh, after you watch this video, do the lab. Uh, that way you can uh, do lab exercise regarding uh, information gathering and identify vulnerabilities. Run test objective number two. Thank you very much and have a great day.